Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the tier room and welcome back to the Normandy. It has been a minute. Sorry about that. But we're back and we're gonna save the galaxy. So, you know. Uh, I'm chilling here with my lady Trainor. Can I help you, Commander? Can I help you, Commander? Uh, yeah, cool. Bye. Carry on, specialist. Yeah, sorry man, it's been a... Uh, been cray cray so i'm onto twos out i've been streaming i've been lazy so you know these things these things happen i don't got no fish okay whatever let's go do something fun uh, yeah what are you doing okay we're gonna go get a protein artifact from in prime we're going back to it all began there's a reaper here that's how do i deal with this Carefully. Normally is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Be aware, however, each time the pulse is used, the chance of reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a reaper enters the system, you're in, flee, and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Hey, okay. Pop it. We got nothing. This idyllic agrarian world was one of the first human colonies established beyond the Sharon mass relay. Eden Prime's fertile biosphere drew heavy immigration from the Systems Alliance and other human organizations. In 2183, Eden Prime was attacked by Geth, Geth, Geth force led by the rogue spectre Saren Arturius. Commander Shepard, responding to the attack, encountered a protein beacon that warned of imminent reaper invasion. It is thanks to this beacon that the commander's quick act and the commander's quick action that the galaxy has any chance of survival today. Although the Reapers rushed past much of the Exodus cluster in their plan to take Earth, it is clear the war has come to Eden Prime. Distress signals have jammed all available frequencies. Fire burns in vast swaths across the arable land, and its once extensive monorail system is twisted metal. Ooh, that sucks. Cerberus has much to lose if the world of their ruthless... If... Uh, Cerberus has much to lose if word of their ruthless attack on the human colony gets out. What they stand to gain must be equally valued. Oh, Cerberus is... Mm, okay. Not the Reapers. Oh, okay, Liara. And do I really have to take this knob head? Yeah, that's pretty good. Armor. Armor's good. Ooh. Let's go with that fancy armor, this dickhead. Oh my god. Okay, that's that's uh that's fun. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. That's what I said. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. <laughs> These people have it rough. <laughs> they deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as well, as pretty cool. as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. Alright everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. Let go! They came back after the Geth attack. 
They'll come back from this. Yeah, I mean, it looks, looks pretty cool. Lose one, you can always move to another. But you'd still remember. I don't remember this mission at all. So it looks pretty cool. Err. No, dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. <laughs> She's like, no, you dumb shit. Processing up... Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a surplus research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increase food ration, there's payment for their work. Most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. And if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way, they, there's no way they'd cooperate. So let's make sure we write this down. Intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Okay. This is like Why well, have I got my gun out? Okay. Let's go fuck Mooks. seem possible it's not a prothean artifact it's because a prothean oh what collector those things the reapers turn the protheans into no an original unmodified prothean that's why i don't remember this alive you're right that doesn't sound possible you saw prothean stasis chambers in the archives on ilos the only reason those failed was a lack of power Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. I'm glad you're here. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. No. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Oh, bad guys. Heads up. <laughs> Bounty yeah, shepherd. Oh, combat rolls. Oh shit. Okay, you can get a lock on you now. Ah, what have we got? Where's the frag grenade? Here it is. Okay. There are singularity, stasis, warp. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. I have a sniper rifle. Oh! Excellent. Why is that person not affected by the Aero Singularity? That's some bullshit. Damn it. Suck shit. How's about that? Wow! Hey, hey, asshole. Can we, uh. Oh, shit. What's my uh, charge? Where's my charge at? Yeah, I uh, just couldn't use it. Why not? Oh. Why can't I do this? I don't understand. But it's not doing it like I'm selecting it, but it's not. Ugh, irritating. Anyways. 
Oh, this is like a boss. I'm gonna get fucked up yet. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, suck it. Oh fuck. This is, it must be riveting to watch. There you go. Okay, that's right. done. Let's get moving before more of them come back. Let's where are we going? Find the find the pod data. Um where 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 do I do it? Oh man, that reminds me of Andromeda. I want to play it. I love that game. Don't at me. Or do, if you wanna. You know, I don't mind. Wing. Wee. Okay, up here is an arrow. Signifies direction, movement, purpose. Well, yeah, that's promising that there's so many yob yobs running out of here. I guess they're probably protecting the data. That took a while. Oh no. Dead lines person, I think. Medkit, don't mind if I do. Oh no, Medigel must be full up. Just he clicked the run back then already. Victor, is Victor the one? No, that isn't the one that we spoke to in Arlo, so no. It's exciting, I've never met this guy. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Yeesh. This looks really good. I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. Uh -huh. They didn't have my giant brain. You received on Pharos. It lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and how they sealed the life pods. She just told you what it does, Nobid. We just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Find the remaining pod data, okay. But wait, there's more. Nothing in here though. I really like these these modular things that they like the modular housing. The prefab things, the way they've done them, they look really cool. And I just like the idea of prefab houses as well. It's so cool. It's very sci-fi. Oh, sorry about it, dude. Oh, dudes. Many of them. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. I like, why are they in full armor while they're watching the game? Oh, shit. Yeah! Liara, save me. Can I not change shoulders? No. Oh, they put they put a smoke. They made a smoke in here. Right 
Hey, yes, sir. That thing's wrecking me, dude. Dude, for reals, how? Shit. How shit? I think we can take it. Thank God. Okay, you can just die, actually. Guys, yeah, shoot this guy. Shoot this guy. Oh, grenade. <laughs> Look away. Well, that was fun. Ow, how are you getting me? Stop that. Oh shit, oh shit, it turns around! <laughs> I thought that thing told me that don't turn around. Well, anyway, everyone else has got a good... ...angle on it now. Look at this little boy. Hey guys, can you come kill this thing? Shit! I'm being attacked! Jesus. Oh, is the son of a bitch fixing the turret? Fuck you, man! Yes, it's a slab. Oh, another, another visions. Powerful visions. I've seen this one. Play the next episode. That grenade wasn't fucking around. Okay, back to the pod. That, you know, that took as much time as it seemed like it took. I definitely didn't cut out like an, a half an hour of looking for a way across it. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Oh, okay. Lots of bogeys in battle. Oh, that means. I should have hide behind the pod so that they can shoot it while they're trying to get me. Oh, why haven't I, why, 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 why haven't I been using the pistol this whole time? No, 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 no! Don't grenade me! Here they come. You guys need to work on that little hover at the bottom of your your fast drop. Looks weird. Nice. If only that was a bit. Oh shit, that's not one of my guys. If my shockwave at a bit more range, that'd be really cool. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. Yo, what? Oh, uh, like a boxing thing. If anybody's low, there's a server supply cache in the building next door. 
Oh. Ooh, what, what if I shoot it in that thing? I'm pretty sure I remember shooting the, the glass. Make the break eventually. I mean, like, not when the whole thing breaks. Okay, there you go. Let's do it! Hey, Prothean, what's, what's your name? Not Vic2. Sorry about your empire. Whoopsie. There, you've got it. Got it. Chili. Speaking of dinosaurs. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. <laughs> hey! Oh, why? Why the aggression? <laughs> like, hello? Don't be nasty. Be careful, he's confused. Fifty thousand years! Really give you a crick in the neck. Trish. Remember, it's been 15,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are ports online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Oh, Jesus. Clarify. Sensors are damaged. Automated reactivation is not an option. You will remain in stasis until a new culture discovers this bunker. This may lead to a power shortage. Do not shut off more parts. I need the few that are left. Power needs will be triaged appropriately. You will be the voice of our people. Oh, wait. What a fuck up. How many others? Just you. You can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, not to understand your language. No. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Hmm. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. No shit. I'm surrounded by primitives. Yay, yay, yay. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. <laughs> then I'm gonna be non-committal. This guy's an asshole. And by asshole I mean also. A living Protean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Bit of an asshole. Men, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. 
Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Yeah, fuck you, Cerberus. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. E. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. Yeah, let's trust him. Let's see how it goes. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. Shoot him, shoot him. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. Uh, yeah. What do you mean you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Indian Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. No, that's the original Eden Prime one. You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? I prefer Commander. And we did our best with what we knew. Your message wasn't exactly specific. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the catalyst. No. Oh. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits, bravery, strength, cunning, a single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. <laughs> Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Mm. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. Yeah, well, but give that you something. You fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die 
will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. <laughs> I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? Why is such a dirt? Hmm. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And can you tell me about your religious beliefs or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. A study in your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. Oh. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. Oh my god. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. Mm -hmm. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inosano. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the <laughs> control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, Ish. then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. 
Mm. Anything else? Anything else? You might as well ask us, I guess. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds great. <laughs> we evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation, the DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Oh. Beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you. Witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. Mm -hmm. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh. To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved. I believe they're hmm? amphibian. Ha <laughs> ha! Lizard people evolved. They used to eat flies. Ha <laughs> ha! Jesus! This guy's an asshole. Understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. I believe they're amphibians. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. You're rough. Same CP Javik, okay. Slam unlocked. Oh yeah, I want slam. Ooh, and a particle beam rifle. Ooh. Ooh we stop that. Uh Medbang, let's go to the medbang, it's slam. What's up, dog? Dog. Dog, dog. Slam. 5,000 crits. Deal massive damage with a body, body slam. Uh, yeah. Dude, every. That's like fucking enough of that now. Frost. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, this thing's here. Yes. Check us. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. For what? Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. Not worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Okay, okay. This checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. Do we? We'll run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. <laughs> see you around, Doctor. Mm, I kind of want to ask about a family. We'll come back. Give up that positive outlook of yours, or be a renegade if you want to look scary. Ooh, what does Liara say? Liara. Hey. Hey, Liara. Liara. Hey. Hey. Hey, Liara. Liara. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. Shut up, drone. Hello again, Shepard. 
Way. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. Mm. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for certain races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, cool. We got Javik on the team. He's he's not what I expected. Uh, but anyways, maybe we'll warm up to him. Maybe he'll he'll lighten up and be like, "Oh, I'm actually not that bad. Not not you know so much of a slave driver." Although he never really admitted to having slaves in the empire. But anyways, let's not get into that at the minute. Um, yeah, thanks for dropping by, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we're finally back. Uh, there will definitely be more episodes soon, so come around for that. And leave a like if you like. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.